Hey everyone, my name is Bethany and I am the training manager here at Yesware and today I'm going to show you how to maintain your campaigns once they have started. Maintaining your campaigns involves adding or removing recipients from the campaign, personalizing touches for individual recipients, and viewing the progress of your campaign and adjusting as needed. Once you've created a campaign and added recipients to it and started that campaign, there's bound to be some maintenance that you need to do on the campaign, either for the content or for your recipients. Let's say, just for example, that someone gives you a call in response to one of your automated emails that goes out and you decide that they don't need to receive any of the remaining touches in that campaign. How would you go about removing them? Well, you can either use the search bar up here to search for that prospect or the specific campaign if you know which campaign that they're on. And if you do know which campaign that they're on, if you hover over the campaign, these buttons will appear. The manage recipients area is where you can then go to remove any recipients. And this search by name, email address, or domain will help you easily find your recipient, assuming that you have a longer list than just three. When you have that recipient you want to remove, select them. And you can click this remove button here to remove that recipient. From the manage recipients page, you can also reschedule touches, skip touches, or move a recipient to a different campaign. With campaigns, you're only able to have a recipient on one campaign at a time, so there might be an occasion where you would need to move them to a different campaign. In this area, you can also preview what your recipients are going to get and further personalize. So if I wanted to take a look and see what Brandon was going to get, I would just click onto his row. And now this is all of the touches that Brandon will get and when they are scheduled to be delivered. And you can click into each individual one and see what they're going to get. And you can also personalize in this area as well by clicking the personalize touch button. and save personalization. And now touch number three was personalized for Brandon, but if I were to go to all recipients and take a look at Elias, touch number three, she does not have that extra note of personalization there. And you can use this custom content section to see who actually has custom content. From the Manage Recipients page, you also have the opportunity to filter. So you could filter out maybe all your bounces to get out you know, any bad email addresses and clean up any lists that you have anywhere. You can also choose to see people who have clicked on a link that you sent in the second touch. And then maybe you use that to filter and then find the results and move any of those people to a different campaign. You could maybe take a look and see all of those who have replied to you. So that's what connected means. And you'll be able to see any of those statuses here in this status section. So in flight just means that the recipient is actively going through the motions of the campaign. Manually removed means that you have manually removed that individual. Bounce means that you've gotten a bad email address. Connected means that you have gotten a reply from that recipient. Exited means that the recipient has gone through every stage of the campaign but has not replied. And the interaction section here will start to fill up as people are interacting with your emails. You'll be able to see icons that indicate replies, link clicks, opens, and if you hover over them, it will give you some high level information on that. Now from this page, you can also add recipients and that's going to bring you back to the table where you originally added your recipients. 
Similarly, if you are just on your campaigns dashboard and want to add new recipients, again, hover over that particular campaign and this add recipients button will show itself and bring you back to the table to add your recipients. And recipients, when you add them, will always start at the beginning and work their way through the campaign. So you might run into instances where you have people on different stages of the campaign, and that just means that you added them at different times. If you need to edit the campaign, you can click Edit Touches. And while you have recipients in flight, you can edit touch content, but just keep in mind that any edits that you make will not override any custom content. So because we customized for Brandon and I believe Aliyah, if we were to edit anything here in this third email, when we go to the recipient section, and look at Brandon, it will not have removed the example text from the edits because there was personalization there. So just bear that in mind that you can edit the campaigns, but it will not override any custom content. You can also delete campaigns if you only you know, needed to use them once and don't intend to use them again. You can go ahead and delete those out. And also get a sense of how these campaigns are performing with the open percentages, click percentages, and connect percentages. And when you're looking at them at the dashboard level, this is the overall open, click, and connect percentage. If you're interested in seeing that on a touch-by-touch -touch basis, just click into the campaign itself. And now you can see for each individual touch, those success rates. Now, maybe you want to, you know, do a little, you know, side by side comparison of, okay, you know, I've got a pretty decent open rate, but I wonder if maybe I change up the subject line on these, if that would change anything. You could duplicate the campaign with this duplicate button down here. And then, you know, call this something like changed up subject line, and then go ahead and change the subject line, make it a, a bit more compelling to get opens and then we'll save and exit. And now we can look at these two side by side and as you add recipients, take a look and see if the changed subject line didn't improve your open percentage. You know, if it did, awesome. You can delete out the original. If it didn't, no harm, no foul. You tried something new. You can always delete out that duplicate campaign. Also, when you click into a campaign, you have the option to share the campaign. So if you are on a team that was created in Yesware and you want to share the content of your campaign with anyone else on your team, you can select that team and share that campaign. And in the campaigns dashboard, any campaigns that have been shared will show up in the all shared section.